Welcome to this Trelby tutorial series teaching you how to use the free software Trelby for screenwriting and script writing. It's a great free tool, so I'm glad you found this video. If you don't already have Trelby installed, you can check out the previous video where I show you how to download and install it on Windows. But in this video, I want to go over the interface and show you some of these different tools and how to start using Trelby. So when it's first opened up, we have this blank white canvas here. We see our cursor in a little blue rectangle. If we just start typing here, we can type. We're going to go over creating scenes and characters and dialogue in the next video. But I want to show you some of these tools. Notice there's a toolbar along the left-hand side with some different icons. If we hover over an icon, like these are the undo and redo. So if I click undo, it's kind of un undoes what I just typed there. If I select redo, it redoes it. So if you want to know what these icons do, you can hover over and see what they do. And just be aware that all of these icons on the left-hand side have the same functionality as different things in these drop-down menus. For example, if we go to Edit, Undo, it does the same thing, and Edit, Redo does the same thing there. Likewise, we can go File, New, and create a new script, and it just creates a second tab here. So here's the first one we we're working on. This can be the second one, and we can toggle between the two. That's nice because, for example, you could go and open up, like I have here in Firefox, the script from Back to the Future. Uh, the movie Back to the Future. You could download this and import it in. This is a PDF version, so I'm not quite sure. Maybe we'll go over the import of that. But you could have one opened in one tab and go back and forth. And which brings me to another point. You can go to File, Import, and we can import, uh, for example, we can do like Final Draft or Celtics or Adobe Story. We can import existing projects created in other software and then edit and make changes to them. Or we can have one open in one tab and, and then kind of use that as a pattern or a draft uh, for creating a, a derivative of that script. Um, so just be aware that these drop downs are, are going to be the same. We have find and replace here. We also have a find and replace it here. So these tools you can either choose to use the side toolbar or the top bar or any combination. Also there's nice shortcut keys. So undo. If we scroll over to the right hand side we see control Z is the undo which is a very common uh, shortcut. So if I hit control Z on my keyboard, it does undo. And we can see redo is control Y. So I can go control Y to redo. Um, that's really about it. We've got we're going to cover reports in future videos. And uh, the next one we're, we're really going to get into the to using this software to create your first script. Um, but for now, just kind of play around, just start typing and you'll see over here in the right hand side tells us what we're in. So right now we're in the action mode. So we're typing in action. Yeah, we can toggle that by, we can hit like Alt A and Alt D. It goes to our dialogue and then Alt, uh, and then we can go, uh, oops. Anyway, we'll do this next. And we can also right click in here and change the element type from scene, action, actor. Um, but just be aware of what the mode we're in is displayed in the top right hand uh, corner. Also the page we're on. And then to save, when we're done, if we want to save, we just go to file and go to save and we can save our document as a .trelby file. That's the one I recommend you save it in unless you specifically want to open it up in a different program and I'll show you how to do that in future videos as well. So go ahead and play with some of the functionality here, get familiar with the different things. Um, also if you go to the website for Trelby, um, trelby.org, there is a section uh, called manual and that has a breakdown of all of this. So we have the basic concepts, we have basic editing, view modes, all the different commands, importing, exporting, reports. So just a great tool here. If you don't want to listen to me, you can just go right to the manual and just quickly go to the part that you want to go to. So thanks for watching this video. Go ahead and uh, like, comment, subscribe, leave your questions below if you have any, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.